G'day guys, back for another video. We have got an interesting one here. It's an intermittent fault on a BA Falcon RTV Ute. And uh, what's happening is the customer's driving around and every now and then it just cuts out intermittently. Uh, we've scanned this for codes already and there is no codes in the system at all. Um, so we've got a few things hooked up. I'll take you over. Let's go under here. Um, got a fuse loop over the uh, fuel pump relay which we're going to be suspecting there may be a fuel issue but it's just odd that it doesn't happen um, enough let's just go to the other side here we've got a wiring diagram out um, so at the moment we've got a few connectors hooked up we have got injector pulse on the blue we have got ignition signal on the red and we have got Crank position sensor on the yellow, and we've got cam position sensor one on the uh, green channel. So let's go over to the scope. Sorry, making you go around the long way. And what we're doing here is, because we don't know exactly what's going on, what's cutting out, first thing we've done is connected to all of these. We've got the fuel pressure tester on underneath and we're just going to wait for it to cut out and see what happens, see if we lose any of these signals. But the important thing about this is that we're getting a known good right now. So we know where the injector signal and the ignition trigger signal are in relation to the cam position sensors, the crank position sensors. So that way if we're losing one of those or something goes out, we know where they're supposed to be. Um, the other thing is there is two cam position sensors on this car, uh, but we're not really going to bother about the exhaust side cam position sensor we're just going to see how we go with this and see if we can get anything to fault and then we will make a decision on what to do there so bear with me guys we're going to leave it running and i'll get you back up once i know or, or once there's an update if, it, if, if there's a stall or anything like that yeah just letting you know i didn't show you before we've got our fuel um, pressure gauge on underneath we're at about 35 psi which is right for this car and like I did say here before, we got the fuse loop on in place in place of the actual fuse for the fuel pump. So that way we're prepared because this is such an intermittent fault and we don't get long to check it. We want to make sure we're not rushing to set things up. So hopefully we've got the basics covered here. We may, depending on what happens, we may even look to set up a second scope, maybe on the 5 volt reference or anything like that, just to cover a few more bases. But really it's, it's just a waiting game. Um, Pico is still going over there, so, well no, I just stopped it by pressing it, but that's still going, not much has happened, so, unfortunately, continuing with the weight, and not ideal, because, I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't see, no, you can't see that, but it's 8.03 at night, certainly don't want to be doing this anymore, but, um, yeah, what can we do, we've got to get it done. Well, it's been a while and it's still going, so still waiting. Uh, there's a few things I could do around here. Got an engine, subframe and everything out of an iLoad. Got a gearbox out of a Colorado. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be doing that tonight, so I think I'll just sit here and have a drink and wait. Okay, now the long-term trims are working and the oxygen sensor is cycling relatively normally after a few hiccups with the last couple of starts we had to do. So I won't bore you guys more than I already have between running around and waiting and looking at this and looking at the Pico. I might just wait. I'll, I'll stop the video now and I'll wait until I get some juicy stuff and then I'll get you back on. I might just go over and... Uh, See if we can analyze what was recorded. So we'll leave that running in the meantime. Hopefully we can just, uh, don't look at my ugly desktop. Let's just see if we can open this and see if we can see what happened last. Might take a while to load while that one's still running. Well, that is mighty upsetting. Oh, we just stalled again. Oh my God, am I gonna catch this? Stop. All right, we caught that one, so let's just save that one. 
save quick quick replace 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 all right let's see if we can start it again Stop that. Oh, wrong one. Mm, we had injector, we had coil. Injector and we had coil. Interesting. I think we confirmed the problem, guys. So, if I just get this going. We're just keeping it running with alternative fuel, and I'll let that alternative fuel go. Dead. We've definitely got a fueling issue here. So we need to determine have we got pump pressure is our fuel pump good at the moment it uh, Yeah, we don't know so let's do another test So like we suspected that's why we set up our fuse loop We've got the amp clamp on it now What do we think of that that is averaging about five amps a little bit curvy there for our liking but at the moment the car's running so let's see if we can get it stalled again and then recheck what this looks like all right guys so the car died we're cranking it the voltage or the amperage dropped a little bit from five to four ish um, but it didn't really stray from that dare say we've got another issue going on uh, so we are going to look at fuel flow hopefully um, it's definitely not going to be tonight because i've had enough uh, so we're going to set up a, a flow test and then we're going to find out what is going on because we have got a pump that's working we have got injectors that are firing well injector signal doesn't necessarily mean they're firing but you would think there's six injectors here so for them to all be failing or, or blocking or something at the same time extremely unlikely so Let's have a look at a little flow issue and see if we find out what's going on with the flow. All right, it's a new day, guys. We just got this beauty from Mount Auto Equipment. It's a uh, fuel pressure flow tester, but it's also got manifold vacuum and exhaust pressure. So we're gonna go connect this up to the RTV and let's have a look. So we've got our awesome new fuel pressure and flow meter from Mount Auto Equipment. We ended up just buying this recently. Um, we've never had a fuel flow meter on one of our fuel pressure gauges, so we decided to get one, contacted Ben at Mount Auto Equipment over east, and um, they shipped us one over within a, a day and a half. So uh, we just wanted to make sure it wasn't a fuel delivery issue. We know it is a fuel delivery issue, but it's got nothing to do with actual fuel volume or, or flow. As you can see, our volume is good and our pressure is definitely within specs and we've actually tested this failing um, off camera and pressure is still good and the flow is just under where it is at the moment. So the reason why we are not starting and losing fuel on this car is because the injectors are not opening. So we're gonna get on to the next test and um, we'll keep you informed. All right, I should explain, guys, because I did this test off camera. So I just got a uh, cam position sensor on the blue channel. We got the red channel of the power to the injectors, and we have the green channel on the injector command. And uh, as you can see here, we have got a 11.82 millisecond duration when it's cranking when there is no fault at all. So we go to when it's failing you can see here 
that injector duration is 2.2 milliseconds instead of the 11 milliseconds or so and because the injector duration when cranking is so low it's not enough it doesn't put out enough current to actually open the injectors and that's why we are not firing at all as you can see here look at our current ramp our measly little current ramp of 2.76 milliseconds and as you can see point where the pintle starts to move that's when the current drops off so it never has enough current to actually fire and if we look at our known good that is our 11 milliseconds and as you can see injector pintle starts to move there continuing on perfect so that's how we know that there is no injector operation so you know we may look at this and look I did and I thought to myself this is going to need a PCM there's something funny going on here but due diligence we need to check 100% so there's one more test we have to do and we're going to do that and I'll jump over to that right now We've just got some live data up on the Verus. Um, what we're doing is we just want to make sure that there are no false inputs to the PCM that are changing the injector duration. So we're going to wait until this fails and then we are going to record these PIDs um, while cranking and it's failing to see if anything is changed and compare it to when it's good and cranking to see if there's any difference there to make sure it's not an input problem to the PCM that's causing the issue. All right, well, we have found an issue. Our map sensor seems to be failing and that's what appears to be affecting the injector duration. So I'll just show you what we found. Uh, basically, if you focus in the top right hand corner, we've got a five volt sensor there and obviously uh, this is key on engine off and at atmospheric pressure it's registering 4.1 volts obviously when we're cranking we get roughly around the 3 volts and I'll show you that now when it's this is obviously when it's good so you can see you can see it doesn't change much um, it's at 4.1 volts it goes down to about 3.9 and um, what we'll do is I will show you I, I did record this separately and it was failing because we just it was a bit of a obviously it's saying to me and you know it was a bit of a quick thing and don't talk over it sort of thing just quickly record it so i'll show you that video right now if you focus in the top right hand corner you'll see when this is failing where it goes to So as you can see, it was down to 0 0.8, 0 0.9, which is ridiculous because at idle, this is actually around the 1.2, 1.3 mark. Um, I'm not sure if you saw in one of the previous videos where I did capture a snippet of that. Um, so what's happening is it's, it's basically telling the computer to reduce the injector duration as much as possible. And it's, in, it's reducing it so far that it actually is not on long enough to build any current to turn the injectors on and that's why we are failing so our, our map sensor is failing internally um, I'm gonna go over there and we'll see if we can take the scan tool over there and tap the map sensor and see if we can change the reading on it all right guys I took the throttle body off I'm, I'm down near the map sensor down there but unfortunately even just tapping it I, I can't get it to change the reading um, when we were testing it the other day and we made it fail in that video that was failing uh, we could jump out and tap it and it would change the reading accordingly so obviously the car's dead cold now so that's probably why um, when the sensor gets hot itself that's probably when it starts to fail but we know we caught this you know off camera you saw a bit of it when we were cranking uh, this map sensor is definitely failing this is the cause of our problem we're going to put a new map sensor in and we're going to run it up and I will get you back over all right guys i'm just doing a little test here i've got the hubby tools sensor simulator on giving five volts to my map sensor just connected to a battery got the u-scope on there we can see we got 4.56 volts so i'm just tapping that and look at that it's dropping straight to zero so I'll, and then it goes up by itself so sorry for the glare but i'll do that again you can see what's going on there Go straight to zero and now if we wait a second it will come up by itself hopefully it's not going to make a liar of me but 
there we go you can see that fluctuating that's what's going on and when we were tapping it on the car before that's what was happening so that just proves a thousand percent our map sensor is faulty so new one on and out the door so there we are guys that's all completely done we're fixed this has been running for a very long time and there are no further issues there are oh look we, we know there are other issues with this car anyway um, you know fuel trims are, are a little bit off and also the fuel pump loses residual pressure when this car turns off so there's a couple of other items too look, we'll speak to the customer see if they want to do anything about that but you know our main concern which was the intermittent stalling and the the crank no start is completely fixed thanks to this little puppy that ruined us so there we go hope you got something out of this guys and uh, appreciate you watching and if you did like this video please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching